Jay Halstead has been a staple of Chicago PD ever since the show began airing in 2014. Now, after nine long seasons, he's finally been written out of the show. Many think that Halstead's exit was unceremonious, with the character not getting the send-off he deserved. But the actor behind him has gone on record to defend the writer's decision. We'll be covering all of that in today's video. First off, let's talk about Halstead's exit. Chicago PD has been on air since 2014, now going on for its 10th season. Throughout these years, Jay Halstead has been an integral part of the police department's intelligence unit. He essentially acted as the unit's moral compass for much of the show's runtime but his time has now come to an end. Though we don't know exactly how the character's actor, Jesse Lee Sofer, wanted to step out from the show, we did receive news that the character was going to be written out prior to season 10's premiere. Everyone figured the show would do justice to Halstead and give the character enough time to develop to the point where his exit would make sense and would be satisfying to viewers. But unfortunately, that's not what fans got. After almost a decade of Halstead being a foundational character, he was written out of the show in just three episodes. What occurred in those three episodes leading to his exit left a lot to be desired and a lot to be criticized. In episodes two and three, Halstead was acting very out of character, lying to his wife Haley about what was happening to him and displaying violent behavior against perpetrators. Then while evading Upton, he chose to take it up with Sergeant Hank Voigt Things eventually blew up in the third episode when he accidentally killed a man. The trauma led to him to choose to resign, and he then rejoined the army. That's where his story ended. Next, the problem with his exit. Having been a part of the show for almost a decade, and showing no prior signs of such events coming to be, it seems so rushed to have Halstead leave in just a few episodes. Then there's the manner in which he was written out. The story of a time-hardened cop eventually reaching his limit despite years on the job, isn't a new one. It's been done in other procedurals, like when Abby Shudo, a character that stood the test of time through 15 seasons of NCIS, had to be written out because of her actor needed to leave. And that's an example of an arc being done reasonably well. The problem here is that we don't get a sense of Halstead evolving naturally to lead to the decision to leave. Halstead has always been sort of like the moral compass of the show, and he's also covered up a lot of crimes for the intelligence unit. So. It's strange that he suddenly felt like he was reaching his limit at the beginning of season 10. If they had given him a multi-episode arc where he slowly started to become the violent, unapologetic character we see in episode 2, then we think the fans would be a little bit more satisfied. The storyline just didn't make sense when connected to the wider universe of Chicago PD. Halstead has seen much worse over the years, so it's bizarre that he felt like he needed to leave the team after he accidentally killed a criminal while he defended himself. Now for how it played out. In order to understand why things aren't sitting well with fans, we need to get into what actually happened during that three episode arc. Though it's still strange that Halstead was going behind Upton's back, we do have precedent for him working so so closely with Voight. The two have been tightly linked for a while now, and Halstead sort of operates as his second in command. It was clear at the beginning of the season that the two were working on a secret mission. Unfortunately, we never got a satisfying conclusion to this plot by the end of Halstead's run. Instead, all we got was a sudden shift in personality for Halstead. In the second episode of the season, Voight was attacked by a suspect, and Halstead retaliated quite aggressively. That's not a regular occurrence, as Halstead is generally seen as a calm personality. In fact, that's one of the reasons why Voight was setting him up to lead intelligence in the future. There were definitely times in the past where he let emotions get the better of him. but it was nothing like this. And even in those cases, it's kind of been explained. We get no such justification this time around. And then all of a sudden, in episode three, we get Halstead killing a suspect in self-defense. Now, he's not new to violence and dealing with situations like that, so it doesn't make sense for him to choose to leave Chicago PD when this happened. Coming up, why did Sulphur leave the show? Prior to the premiere of season 10, Jesse Sulphur made it clear that it was going to be his last outing as the character. He made a statement to Variety, where he thanked his fellow actors and the team that had given him the role all those years ago. He also praised the fans for their support of the show and specially named Dick Wolf, Peter Jankowski, Derek Haas, and Gwen Sagan, amongst others. 
Unfortunately, Sofer didn't give us a clear reason why he was leaving the show. A lot of people have been speculating about why that's had to happen, and the most likely scenario seems to be that he just needed time away. Sofer's been playing the same character for almost a decade now, and that's gotta be tiring. It isn't uncommon for actors in long-running procedurals to want to leave and branch out to new endeavors. When you play a single character for so long, it can eventually be difficult to find new roles and break out of being typecast, which is the bane of many in this industry. In fact, One Chicago, the network airing Chicago PD, has no shortage of long-time actors wanting to end their tenures on a show. For instance, Jesse Spencer of Chicago Fire has stated that he'll be leaving the show as well. It's definitely strange though, as actors generally have things lined up for them when they leave shows like this, but Sofer doesn't seem to have anything in the works. Moving on, Sofer defends Halstead exit. Sofer definitely owes a lot to Chicago PD. Having a long run on a procedural isn't an easy thing to accomplish. Characters are frequently written out of shows when they don't garner enough attention from fans. On the flip side, when fans really love a character that is set up to be axed, it can help change their fates. Halstead had earned his place in Chicago PD, being a fan favorite ever since he appeared in season one. So we get why Sofer would have such a strong connection with him. However, all things must come to an end, and Sofer made his choice to leave. That doesn't mean that he doesn't care about the show anymore. When the show came under fire for what the fans saw as an insulting end to Halstead's story, Sofer went online to defend the actions of the showrunners. Despite fans saying that it wasn't appropriate to the character, Sofer claimed that the show stayed true to what made Halstead Halstead. He tweeted out a quote by the character saying that that was Jay. Now, as someone that owes so much to Chicago PD, we can understand and why he'd want to placate the angry fans, it was also his decision to leave, so he might feel some responsibility for how things went down. Ultimately, Halstead did leave the way he did, and we can't really change that. Though the show left the door open for his return, Sofer will most definitely not return as the character. Lastly, how should it have ended? Though we do just have to sit back and accept that Hall said it was written out the way he was, we can still try to imagine a scenario where his leaving made more narrative sense. Characters and stories tend to take a life of their own, and a particular way a writer makes them out to be doesn't necessarily mean it's the way a character should have acted. So let's try and work out what could have been done better. For beginners, the show could have used the deaths of Roy Walton in Season 8 and Anna Avalos in Season 9 to prepare propel Halstead to his decision. Showing that he was struggling with these traumatic events would have gone a long way to making viewers understand why he'd want to leave the unit. Second, his behavior could have gotten increasingly aggressive over a few more episodes. The deaths of his colleagues could have been used for that as well. We just needed to see Halstead have difficulty coming to terms with what had happened and altering his behavior to reflect it. And finally, they should have had a more definitive end. Instead of keeping the door open for his return, that's a wrap for this video. Do you think Halstead got the ending he deserved? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.